Welcome to the Revit API uh, with C Sharp uh, using the filter element collector to access elements. Uh, I'm going to begin this video with creating a class uh, and I'll just call it my sample collector and I'll go ahead and put a public uh, and then I want to get back the list of walls. Um, so I'll get call this get walls and um, I'm going to get them by class so I'll send in the document Got to get my references in or using statements, which are going to be the using the system generic, using um, the system link, which will help me iterate over the um, the collection, uh, and then I'm going to use the database to get the elements from Revit. So here I'll begin by um, using the filter element collector. And the collector is really the um, way you get the elements from Revit. Um, and it itself uh, returns an enumerator. Um, so I'll go ahead and send in the document, which I'm actually working on. Um, and I'll get it in a, um, in a I collection um, of elements. And um, I'll just name it the walls, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just work with walls. Um, so I'm going to call the collector. Um, and then this is the quick filter um, of the element class filter, and it's just a short hand, uh, a shortcut uh, called of class. So typically, I usually see them uh, called out like this, and I always use them like this. Um, uh, it, so it's just a, sh a, 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 a shorter way of writing it out. So with the I'll send in the type of, and I'll send in the type of wall, um, and then, then I'll go ahead and send this. To, um, to an element. So I want to generate an empty list of walls. That way I can populate um, my wall elements here. And then I will iterate over uh, my eye collection element of walls and send them to the empty um, empty list of walls. So uh, for every wall in the I collection of walls, I'll go ahead and add it to uh, my list of walls. And then my method will return all my walls to me um, in a nice compact list. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is um, I want to get the active document one. And this is kind of interesting because it's basically the same code um, with everything in here, except for in the document, it's overloaded. So you can actually add the document active UID and then get the I and then get the um, the the um, the active view. So a lot of the times you'll actually see it written out like this. So I want to rewrite this so that you kind of get used to um, seeing how the how you can um, write this all in one command without using the i collection filter element collector um, and then just send it right straight to the i collection so um, so the next thing is getting the wall by category um, and I'll go ahead and send in my document again uh, and this time I will um, use the the quick filter um, which uh, will send in the shortcut of category and I will send in the built-in parameter of uh, the um, OST walls um, and then I want to get the uh, where the element is is not a type, um, and then uh, I want to send it to an element. So that is of category and usually written out like this, but you can use the um, the the other way to write it, kind of a little bit longer. But this is kind of all compact, um, and then we'll iterate over the the I list. Um, uh, so I'll copy the the empty list, um, and then I'll iterate over it. 
Um, I'll change this because now I'm not sending a wall, but I'm, I'm actually getting an element. Um, and then I'll cast this to a wall. So I'll say for the wall, W equals the E, which is the element, as the wall. Uh, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and add uh, it to my list of walls and return it back to myself. Um, and just a little cleanup of the code so it's a little bit more readable. Um, so the filter element collector um, also implements link uh, because it's using the um, I enumerable. Um, and link is just a, it's a query that, uh, that Microsoft uses. And the... Um, it's better to search through the um, Revit elements using their quick, quick, um, quick filters um, than than using the link or or the slow slow filters. Um, and and this is this is one of the the, the ones because it has to iterate over each one of them. But um, the way you do it is you basically use the same thing, and it's you're you're looking for an individual either type or name or something um, so from the v in the filter element uh, filter element collector document of the class type wall um, and then i want to cast the wall and then um, i want to um, where uh, the wall or the v name um, is equal to um, the name which I'm actually going to send into the method which I'm searching um, I want I want it to select the the element or the wall and I'll go ahead and just grab the first one that it finds of the one which I'm searching um, and link is usually um, uh, it it looks like this where you uh, say from and to where and what you want to select um, and this is in itself could be a, a class or, or a video of just how to produce this but it's kind of just a simplistic way of showing you that you can also find it with uh, with with uh, link um, the other one is the lambda expression which is an anonymous an anonymous function um, which is a definition uh, so it's kind of like a, a, a small method without a method. Um, it's a little bit hard to get wrap your brain around but at the beginning, but you can actually kind of, um, once once you understand how it works, it, it, it's very compact and very functional. So here I will um, just, instead of um, building much code, I'll just return a new filter element collector, um, and then I'll go ahead and send the document of the class. Um, and then I'll get the type of wall. Uh, and I'll go ahead and get the first one. And here's my lambda, which um, is is what I what I want to send in here. Um, and it is the element, so I'm going to send it as an e. I'm going to do the equals um, less than and send it as e dot name, which is the element name. Uh, and if it equals the name that I've sent it in, then uh, go ahead and send it back to me. So I'll get the first or default, which is doing the same thing as the link, but in a in a little bit more compact way. Um, and you and you'll see it written out like this, um, a lot of the times. So those are those are the three filter element collectors which I've generated here. So now is the bit where I want to actually get my program to to get all of this stuff. So I'll go ahead and generate my class um, using the um, sample collector and I'll call it SC and then I'll send them to all to my list here uh, so I'll go ahead and grab each one of my my methods that I generated and send in the appropriate document um, the name of, of the lambda and the link expression which I want to find which will just be a sheer wall which I we call or I call SW48 um, uh, and then I'll build a string builder here to um, just kind of generate some uh, text to send out to um, to uh, the 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 dialog. So with the string builder, I'll go ahead and send for each one of the the, the walls in the list. 
uh, here, um, I want to get the uh, uh, so I want to the append the the wall name and a little space plus uh, the wall ID. So um, and then a new line slash n, which will give me a new line. So they won't all be on the same line here. Um, and just kind of remove a little bit of excess code here. And then I'll just go ahead and return that uh, string build um, to 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 um, to my uh, command. Uh, so here I'll do the task dialog show uh, the name, which will be the values. Um, and then for each one of those, I'll go ahead and get the uh, class here. And the string builder method, which I built, the list, which will be the class. And then I'll go ahead and send it to a, to a string. So it'll print out. Uh, same thing with the, uh, the, the one with my active view, the category, send that right in there. Send it to a list or to a string, um, and then for the wall link, uh, get a new a, a, um, a new hard return, another hard return, and um, I'll send the link name plus the um, the wall ID that it grabbed. Uh, same thing with this um, with the lambda expression. Um, so. Look, just overlooking the code, here's a, here's a mistake here, which I've made is um, I want to get the element instance and not the type. So where the element is not an element type. So I get the instance. Um, and then I'll go ahead and just fire up Rabbit and get it going. And I'll just get the file which I've been working with here. And I'll set two views here, my 3D view of, of just a couple of walls and slabs, uh, and and, my, and, a, and a plan view. So here's here's the view, the floors that are in my active view, um, and I'll just go ahead and look up at the tab, and you'll see the the lists of, of the walls that are in the active view, the list of each one of the category, the class, um, and then the lambda expressions that they got the first. Um, sure wall 48 that they grabbed and just gave me the name and the element ID. Um, anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, for more videos, please subscribe.